Okay, so I wanted to make this video uh, to show how to perform a FRM repair with just the XP 400 Pro and a laptop to where you won't need the actual uh, IM608 unit. Uh, this is just recently with an update to the laptop or PC program for the Pro that you are able to do this. Now there are a couple versions of the program when you're going to download them from the Autel site. And the one that is going to work is one that's just labeled programmer. The other one does not have the option that, um, that I noticed. The only problem is this one is in a foreign language and you have to convert it to English. And I didn't know how to do that since it was in foreign language. I couldn't navigate through it. So I actually contacted Autel and they team viewed in and switched it for me to English. Okay, so once the uh, program is opened, I want to kind of show you to prove this one is a corrupted unit that I have here. And so... You would go here in the drop down and I will go about it kind of how I did in the uh, with the IM608. So you click other, then you hit BMW and find the, uh, the thing that you're trying to do. So let's say so the EQ34 read write and here we have the D flash, the EEPROM, and the P flash, just like on the tablet. So we'll try to read the D flash, and from here we'll hit read, and it says that it failed. So just like before on the 608, let me make this bigger. It does not read the D flash. Let's try the EEPROM. So we'll hit read for that. And again, failed. And we will switch over to the P flash, which, even if it's corrupted, you'll still be able to pull something out of the E flash. Like, again, like I showed in the other video. So we hit read, and this one I know on the tablet does take a while, but the light is flashing, so it is performing a a read. Okay, so it's read the P flash successfully, and there is your information there, which we uh, we can't do anything with for this but it at least tells us connection's good, it's able to read, so on and so forth, and also we know that it is truly corrupted. And so now to, I've not done this yet up to this point, but I noticed that that was there after I updated this program, uh, that you have to have the latest uh, version. So you go down here, drop down menu, and instead of other, you hit body repair and you notice up here on the drop down it's BMW ready and it's only BMW as an option so I'm assuming that it's geared to just doing this uh, FRMs so this came out of a X6 uh, technically it's a E71 but I'm just gonna randomly pick um, let's see, uh, any of these, so we'll go there and then it only has the EEPROM option, so we'll hit OK. OK, and so then this menu here on the right uh, pops up with some uh, descriptions, so let's try this read ID. So read ID successful. Hey, okay. 
Now, I'm not sure if this, what's on here is pertaining to anything specific because I just, I hit new to kind of blank out the, uh, the process, but let's see. So, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and hit repair to see what that does. I'm sure you want to write sure. Okay, so now the supposedly the EEPROM was written. So let's go this way now back to Let's see if we can read the EEPROM. And we'll hit read. Read failed. Okay, so I noticed I had the, uh, it was still on the P flash, no, D flash, sorry. And so I switched over to the EEPROM and read it and it now read it successfully. Unlike before when we couldn't read it, now we are able to read it. So let's see. So it means there's something there now. So I would say that at this point, the FRM is able to be installed back in the car and probably perform a, a coding to set the parameters. But I guess the more important thing that I was trying to portray is that you are now able to perform a basic quick way of FRM repair with the program XV with the program on the PC and the XP 400 Pro where you don't necessarily need to buy the tablet unit. You can just get the programmer, download the uh, program and perform this repair a lot as well as with all the other features that the programmer can do, it'll do it on the PC. Again, the important thing to note is to get the one that's not listed as ATP, but just programmer. And with the that latest software, um, also, here on the, if you do have the 608, if you notice, this was where I was going to the uh, other times to perform this, but now, just like on the PC program, it has the option here now, BMW, let's, uh, let's just go here. And so it says that to uh, perform this, it'll automatically um, you know, partition chip or write original data for recovery, so on and so forth. And again, if, if there is a mismatch to uh, do the coding with the Autel tool. So um, with the update to the, the tablet unit, you're able to do it here. And also on PC, uh, you are able to do it there, which, I mean, for what the cost of just that unit alone and to be able to, you know, do it on the PC, that is a good, good um, option if you're considering uh, purchasing that unit. Again, it has many, many other options or things to do on here. So if you're on the fence about programmers and stuff, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend that unit alone. And then obviously on a PC, you can do a lot of those things. Again, if you don't want to uh, shell out all the money for a, uh, 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 a tablet unit for right now. And this is just to quickly show you as to why uh, download the other 
uh, programmer, the, the one that does not have the AT on it. Because right now we are on the AT programmer. And if you go to the drop down menu, it only has three uh, options to choose from to perform work with. And even at that point, I'm not sure if it would even um, read it, which actually, let's see, I'm connected. If we go this way, MCU, Freescale, let's see, I think it's this one here, D-Flash, so it doesn't even have uh, EEPROM to pull from there. Let's try to read the P flash. And now I'm just I'm just playing around to see if uh, this AT programmer will even read uh, the chip on here because from what I understand, for some reason this AT programmer deal doesn't work properly or read chips. You have to use the other one, um, this guy here. So that's it for this one. Overall, part of the reason or the main reason why I wanted to make it was to be able to show you guys that, first of all, there's an update to be able to perform this repair a quicker, easier route, almost like a one-touch deal once you find the path to get in there. Second, the other reason was to show you guys that you can also perform this repair with the just the the programmer, the XP400 Pro, and a laptop and the software, obviously, and not have to invest big in the 608 to begin with. That unit alone and the PC is very powerful and has a lot of capabilities once you start playing around with it for a low cost. And lastly, um, don't call me or anything because I just haven't been able to find one currently where I can place it in the car and see if it's going to work. Um, the only thing I do know 100% is that we have fixed the corruption portion. When these corrupt, the EEPROM cannot be read. If they're fine and dandy, no problems, EEPROM can be read with no issues, so on and so forth. But once we hit that repair deal or the, the fix button, now we are able to read the EEPROM. And so now I know that it's fixed. At this point, I'm also sort of in the safety net because having the Autel and, and current subscription and being able to perform programming, if I were to install that now and some parameters needed to be reset or coded, I can do so. So I don't know 100% how it, that fix goes, if anything further needs to be performed, because I just don't have one here. I just know that we did fix the corruption portion of it and and that's all i know for now and that's what i wanted to show so so i guess just in closing it's nothing crazy it's just more of an update that follows the last one that i did uh where i showed how i did it without the quick access version i hope it was informative and you caught something of it and i hope you watch it and so you know that it you can do it quicker and so that's going to be it for now I'll continue to try to create some more uh, informative content. And so until then, that's all for now.